Good morning, I'm Chris Beecham and these are your morning market headlines for Wednesday the 29th of August with a FTSE down around 30 points at 57.42. And sentiment seems to have taken something of a wobble this morning as we are reminded that there are still some things to be worried about despite the hope of central bank action coming in September. News was received yesterday that Catalonia, one of the largest Spanish regions, has requested around 5 billion euros in aid from the central government. However, the regional government of Catalonia says that it will not accept any further austerity budgetary measures imposed by Madrid, which puts the central government in a rather difficult position both with the other regions and with its European partners if Madrid is seen to be shying away from further austerity measures for Spain in general. Now we had US housing data yesterday which was stronger than expected with the case share index rising around 0.9% month for month for the month of June. It slightly diminished QE3 expectations but a still weak Richmond Fed manufacturing index helped to reassure investors that the Fed is still likely to act in September. In, in corporate news, where the fickleness of markets has been exposed, the minor Antofagasta beats expectations for its first half and its shares have fallen 1.6%. Meanwhile, Serco, the outsourcing giant, has reported a very difficult first half and yet its shares have risen 0.8%. I think the strong forecast for the second half for Serco has helped investors to remain more upbeat about the company's prospects. And on the economic front, we have German CPI at 1 p.m., U.S. Q2 GDP at 1.30 p.m., uh, pending home sales at 3 p.m., and finally the Fed's Beige Book at 7 p.m. This last one's particularly important as it is an informal survey of how various managers from around the country view the current performance of the U.S. economy. And we expect the S&P 500 to start the day lower, around 1.5 points lower at 14.06.